Hey guys, and welcome to your Two Minute Money Manager. I'm your host, Stacey Johnson, and this Two Minute Answer is brought to you by MoneyTalksNews.com, serving up the best in personal finance news and advice since 1991. Today's question, it comes to us from Diane. Here's what Diane says. Will you please, please tell me if there's a way to prevent the nursing home from taking all of your money when you go into it? Well, Diane, I've got three things for you. First thing, let's, let's understand what we're talking about. If you need long-term care in a nursing home, it's gonna cost a ton of money. Estimates range from 50 to $80,000 a year to live in a nursing home. Now you may think, Medicare will take care of me. No, Medicare won't. You can go into a nursing home for a very limited amount of time and Medicare will pay the bill. But once it becomes long-term, it's gonna take years. Well, Medicare is no longer paying that. What will pay that is Medicaid. Now Medicaid is a program for low-income Americans, but in order for Medicaid to pay your nursing home expenses, you're gonna to have to spend down almost all of your assets before Medicaid will pick up the tab. And so what, this is what Diane's asking me. Is there any way that you can prevent the nursing home from taking all of your money uh, when you go into a nursing home? Well, the thing too, there are strategies, Diane, that you can employ that can, take, that can keep your assets away from that nursing home. In other words, to shield your assets from Medicaid, okay? However, however, they're complicated. Let's keep in mind the purpose of Medicaid isn't for rich people to use it. These are all, this is taxpayer supported stuff. So, but there are some things you can legally do that can protect some of your assets from uh, the expenses of a nursing home. For example, um, there are annuities that you can use. You can give away your assets, but you better have, have done it within five years of going into that nursing home over five years before you go into a nursing home. Uh, there are trusts that you can set up, irrevocable trusts. Again, a lot of this stuff has to be done though, five years before you go into a nursing home. There are spillover trusts, there are life estates. There, there, there are some things you can do all requiring lawyers, uh, except for maybe giving away your assets. Uh, and then you, by, but remember, you're actually giving away those assets. You don't own them anymore, so you're depending on whoever you gave them to should you need the money. Uh, to, to uh, take care of you. But you're gonna have to talk to a lawyer to do this. It is not simple, and you're probably gonna wanna have a lot of assets uh, before it's even worthwhile. But certainly, you can always talk to an attorney. Often, you can do so free for an initial uh, consultation. Now, thing number three, there are alternatives. Uh, obviously, none, none of which are pleasant. You can get, get long-term care insurance, which is terrifically expensive. Um, you can self-insure. Uh, which means having enough savings to pay for the nursing home, uh, or you can have home care, you know, if that's feasible for you, and that's generally less expensive than a nursing home. So this is a tough, it's a tough situation and not an easy one to get around. Are there solutions? Yes, there are. Talk to a lawyer and maybe you'll find some out. You can also get more information by going to moneytalksnews.com and doing a search for long-term care. I hope that answered your question, Diane, and I hope you guys will all meet me here for the next answer. Hey, did you like the video? Then do us a favor, give it a thumbs up, comment below, share it. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, then click the subscribe button, it's right there.